Hello guys, this is Mr. Surplus not here, bringing the uh, second final part to this video on the uh, um, upgrades that I did on my Warser 1063 AK47. Um, I believe this might be the sixth or seventh video. I made a few videos from how the gun used to look before with the wood furnishing. And um, I was uh, hope you guys can check those videos out because um, on those videos um, I was able to show all the different components that I was going to install, all the different options. And if you're checking out this video, go ahead and, and take some time and we uh, start viewing the first part up to this part. Uh, so you can follow along on the uh, transformation from a regular stock AK-47 over to a uh, tactical AK-47. And um, basically, I just wanted to show you guys um, the, the weapon, how it came out. Okay, starting off by uh, installing the uh, TAPCO. AK-74 muscle brake, it came out really nice. Okay, no problem. It fits nice and tight, no loose fit like I read in some review. Um, that's the uh, muscle brake right there. Then I went ahead and I opted to put the uh, UTG quad rail on it. Nice fit, really tight. It gives you this shims um, that you can try. This thing is solid and it complements the rifle really good. It makes it look really, really uh, like a monster gun. I mean, really nice. The feel on your hand is outrageous and it's got, a, uh, um, it's got four rails that you can um, uh, put anything, you know, anything you want on it. I'm still waiting to put a, uh, a, um, a laser and uh, right now, I need, uh, the only thing I have on it is the uh, uh, the tactical light and uh, the scope. So let's go back to where I left off. <clears throat> um, I got the G, uh, UTG uh, quad rail. I got the um, Tapco um, magazine. No wobble whatsoever. This thing is solid. Okay, no wobble. Then I got also the uh, UTG scope mount uh, with the double rails and on one side I have a uh, tactical flashlight um, and on top I have a, uh, a scope 2x6 okay then I went and put the advanced technology uh, grip this thing it's unbelievable it feels a radio this grip um, I mean the gun completely changed completely and um, this grip again is, is really wide I mean it, it gives you a feel that you don't want to let the gun go and um, this is how the gun looks okay I got it on safety and um, don't leave me no comments oh I can't believe you're doing a video without doing a safety check look dude I make sure this thing it's completely empty before I do my videos um, I had some guy leave me a comment like that. Well, anyways, I like the way this thing has like this little vent ports up here. Um, I mean, this 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 handguard is just unreal how it feels. I mean, it makes you want to keep this you know um, weapon all the time, um, holding it. The way now this AK feels, I think it looks really good. Okay, very nice. Now I'm gonna tell you one thing, the quad rail in the front plus the muscle brake, it does give it a little bit of a weight, which I don't mind because I'm sure when I shoot this thing, it's gonna control the muscle lift and the um, and, uh, muscle uh, rise. Um, so basically I'm gonna, I'm, still, I'm gonna leave this little red thing here that it came with a bolt. I think it goes nice with the black. It's like a little accent, okay? So that's how it looks on the side with a UTG um, uh, scope mount. That's the uh, collapsible stock from Tapco. Really, really nice. Let me show you this side. 
the pistol grip is off the chain. That's the uh, quad rail, and that's how it looks from the side with the tactical flashlight. And let me show you this. That's the red light right there. It works great. I turned off all the lights, and it's just a rate. It's not too much light, not too little. So it goes good with the scope. And then if you want, you got the top little button for the red, turn it off. And on the bottom, you have the one for the white, the white light, which is very bright. It's got five um, uh, LEDs. And then the red LED is in the middle. And you can even turn them both at the same time. But you can't see the red too much. But that's with the flash, with the light right there. Okay, nice and tactical. I just need a laser on it. And like I was saying, check out my videos because I made the review where you can get this light from um, Coast. That's who makes it. Um, it's called the uh, LED laser. Okay? You can get this little tactical light at Lowe's for $24.99. And any tactical light that you purchase anywhere, you're going to be paying about $70, $80 or more. And it might not have that feature. Most of them will just probably be the white LEDs. This one is five white LEDs all the way around and one red LED in the center which has got two little buttons, one on top, one on the bottom, the red on top, white on the bottom, and it lets you turn on the red light, okay? Turn it off, and then the bottom for the white. So, there you go. Okay, that's how it looks. I'm telling you, I think this AK is gonna give an AR-15 a run for it for the money. Um, I'm sure it's not gonna be as accurate, although you know, against those two two threes AR-15s or the A4s, 308s. But um, at 75 yards, forget it. And the dependability of this weapon is unreal. Okay, so I'm sure it's gonna shoot really nice. It feels great. I mean, you can handle the gun really good. Really nice. Okay. You can also, it comes with this uh, thing here on the stock that you can use it to, um, from the bottom and this one to put like those straps that it will just hang like this. Like the Marine guys and, and got the armed forces in Iraq. And um, it's really, really nice. Um, on this one, I don't know why, but being that this scope mount is meant that it rises up above the receiver cover, and you're supposed to be able to look through your rear leave sight, and I can't, I can't do that with it. But if I'm putting a scope, what's the, you know, even though I know sometimes you need open sight, but with this baby, I don't think I'm going to need uh, open sights. Um, the scope, it's um, two by six, which it works perfect. You shoulder the weapon, boom, and you're right on the reticle. Very nice. So, um, I can't wait to go to the range with it and take it out there. And, um, I mean, check out all the other videos from when the, the, this AK was original, where I have all the stuff on the table that I've put on this AK. It's all set. It came with a Tapco G2 trigger group. I put the uh, recoil buffer. Um, now with the ta uh, Tapco polymer mag, it looks really nice and tactical. I think it looks way better, guys. Leave me a comment. Uh, check out the way uh, the other one looked, or this one, I mean, before I, I transformed it with the wood I think it's a, a hell of a change I mean a nice black rifle you can close this and make it really short how short that becomes okay or it, depending on your length of uh, 
in your shoulder, you can go all the way back, which is good. Remember, this um, washer 10, they come with a really uh, short stock. And for big guys, it's, there's a problem. But um, not now. Now it's ready to go, ready to rock and roll. And I can't wait to go to the range and shoot it. I will be bringing back some of those targets that I, like I did on my um, bench rest precision rifle. Uh, when I did my uh, uh, videos on the reloading of precision rifle ammunition and I showed you guys the cards of the groups that I get, uh, I will be bringing those targets out of this gun just so you guys can see what the deal is with this baby. Okay, we will back to the bone. I, I'm really happy how it came out, really like it. Can't ask for any more. Okay. Look how it looks from the top. Really, really nice. I think it came out unbelievable. Everything fits really tight and snug. Nothing's loose on this weapon. And um, it's just a nice AK now. Okay, completely tactical from the, how it used to look till now. It has, it has gained some weight, obviously remember, I got a tactical light, the scope, I got the, um, got the, uh, the, the scope mount, this uh, quad rail adds a little bit of weight to it, the muscle brake, it's a little bit heavier than when I had the, uh, the wood stock on it, but I think it looks awesome. So leave me any comments, subscribe to my channel for more great videos. And this is Mr. Surplus Nut. Check you out later.